Today, we are gonna be building some custom Lego gonks and not just any gonk, but here I have nine prequel trilogy characters from the three prequels. There are nine saga movies, so perhaps I can revisit it for the other two sagas, but we're only making nine gonks out of these nine characters. Every time I say nine, I want the screen to just zoom in nine times. Nine, nine, nine. But I've got all of the gonks already built and I think we'll go straight in with Phantom Menace. And the first minifigure we've got is Quiet God Jin. We have an opportunity later on to get some of the other members of the Jedi Council. So I had to go with Qui-Gon first and you can see I have brick built him a lightsaber. We're not just using that typical lightsaber piece. That's true for nearly all the minifigures in today's video. I wanted to make something that resembled Qui-Gon's actual lightsaber. Saber, much like this gonk represents the original minifigure. And of course I could print a few stickers or go with some printed parts to make it seem a bit more detailed, but then you might as well just use the minifigure. This gonk I have created even with Qui-Gon's ponytail at the back bit and getting his beard as much detail as I could, including some stripes on the torso for the Jedi robes, but it is missing that accessory. So we're going to rob Qui-Gon of his lightsaber and hand it to the gonk here. And now I think that looks like Qui-Gon, but Qui-Gon's going to need a dueling buddy. So we'll put Qui-Gon just at the back there and introduce character number two, Darth Maul. Again, another brick built lightsaber. I've extended it with a stud on either side, which is really all you need for the Darth Maul minifigure. But the gonk has been a step up from Qui-Gon and these get more interesting as the video goes on. So stay tuned for the final two, which you will enjoy. Some spikes on the head to get Maul's horns or just the top spikes of his head. And also some red details. I've included a trans yellow one by one round tail to act as some sort of Sith eye and also got a white plate because... Maul's mouth is really, really creepy beneath all of his makeup. Again, similar robes to Qui-Gon's because Maul does wear an outfit that reminds me heavily of Jedi robes. In fact, it's like Luke's and Anakin's that they will both later wear. And once again, we'll be taking that lightsaber, unarming Maul, and into his left hand because Maul is left-handed, equipping the double-bladed lightsaber. So it can do with Qui-Gon and that is a theme throughout all of these gonks. I've got two to duel with each other and then a third bonus character that tends not to fit with the other twos in the scene. For this we've got Jar Jar Binks with some custom accessories, this giant long staff and I think the gonk that I've created first off looks a little bit like a penguin gonk so yeah, I, I'm not sure how I feel about this nose, but I think it does look pretty good. We've got the head tails at the back as well, as well as the eyes popping out the top, which does make it higher than the other two gonks. But we're going to need to unarm Jar Jar now, take both his shield and his staff. And this gonk looks really cool when you've given both the accessories. Just look at that. This gonk is ready for war. I will have a community poll putting these movies against each other. Phantom Menace versus Attack of the Clones versus Revenge of the Sith. But I want you to let me know your favourite in the comments. It could be your favourite from each movie, if you do have one. Your favourite overall, or just a few of the gongs that have stood out to you. From Attack of the Clones, I'm also introducing custom minifigures. The three you saw for Phantom Menace were all official versions. But starting off with this custom Anakin, you can see Anakin does have... I don't really know how to go with his hair because he doesn't have any sort of fringe. So I've just used this one by two block to represent his face at the front. And I do think this is probably the most simplistic and basic looking gonk in the entire video. But I will say I like how I've included the dark brown bricks for the arms to get the different color of Anakin's sleeves. This is taken from the door where he fights Count Dooku who... Funnily enough, maybe the next gonk I have lined up, but I really like the costume with the two lightsabers. I have added a few different studs and bits to these lightsabers once again, but like with Qui-Gon, Anakin needs a dueling partner in Count Dooku here. And this is a custom minifigure. I did a video yesterday on a custom Dooku, and actually that includes the Padme minifigure that's up next. So let's not get carried away with ourselves here. First, we got to look at Dooku. I've flipped because of the different 
it's almost like a jumper texture that he wears. I have flipped the brick around so that it is widthways instead of going vertically. The stripes are across horizontally and added that chain that holds in his cape. I definitely need to get a brown cape for this minifigure. There we go. Wow, does that make Dooku look all that more superior. But now on to Padme. Let me stand up for Dooku again. Padme is a very simplistic minifigure to capture in gonk form. So I have taken a few different techniques from the previous ones. First off, we've added some texture with this brick at the front and I've stolen Qui-Gon's ponytail design, which I think does work for the knot bun that Padme is wearing in this scene. Also got a bottom light tan two by three plate to represent the belt of her costume. And all of these gonks have a very similar build underneath in different colors. Just like with a trio of minifigures from Phantom Menace, I think I've been able to capture their likeness really, really well. And who knows, perhaps the most popular of these gonk minifigures might make it to the display with the rest of them. And for those of you that aren't aware, above my minifigure display, I have every single gonk that LEGO has made. And the point of this video is to add a few more to the left in place of that... Oh, I can't believe I've forgotten what it's called again. Do back. It's the do back. I did remember before the video was out. So instead of the do back, that will be moving perhaps over to the left by the pod racer. And I'll add a few of these themed gongs based on who you like in the comments to the left of the rest. But before you decide, you're going to need to see Revenge of the Siths. I really like how I've built Kenobi's lightsaber here, but that's not the point of the video. So let's bring out the bright haired gonk, which, yeah, I, I don't have any dark orange elements or at least not enough to use as the hair of Kenobi's gonk. But we've given him some boots as well to try and counteract the brightness of that hair. And of course, we cannot forget to give this really cool lightsaber to the gonk because it's going to need it for the character I have chosen to gonkify next. Who else to go up against Kenobi other than General Grievous himself? I've added a few pieces to the minifigure here as well to get this stance. I think it looks really, really cool, but it's gonna take up so much more space on my display. It's almost like a peacock of lightsabers. And I think this is one of my most interesting gonks I have ever built. We've got four hands here to hold each of the lightsabers and just a bunch of different crazy techniques. If you would like to know how I built this, I could probably go over it in, I'll probably upload the instructions to all members over on the Discord if anyone does want them. Let me know down in the comments and this is gonna be a long one. I'm so happy it took no time at all and instantly was able to just get the lightsabers in the hands. But you can see we've got four hands and they can be positioned differently. You can have them pointing in, pointing out, but I think Pointing up works for the limitations of a typical gonk. But we've still got one more character to go with, and I had to include the Jedi Grandmaster High Council member Yoda, who's got the staff and a smaller lightsaber than everyone else, which was really interesting how I did it, was just including these studs on the actual lightsaber blade piece itself, rather than including them on a lightsaber hilt. And that also allows it to be clipped onto this Yoda gonk. Now you can see I haven't included any legs and I haven't built up the head as high and that's to get it sitting a lot shorter than any of the other gonks. Let me show you up close. You can see, especially standing next to Grievous, it's a much shorter gonk, but even compared to Kenobi, it's like a brick shorter, if that, which isn't far off how short the minifigure actually is. But now let's take a look at all of them together. So here we have all of the gonks that I have built first off phantom menace secondly attack of the clones just in the center here and finishing with revenge of the sith if you'd like to see me do the same for the original trilogy for the sequel trilogy and then perhaps for the other movies because we do have a clone wars movie rogue one and solo at least at the time of recording this video hopefully we can see a few more star wars movies in the near future definitely let me know by dropping a like on this video subscribing on your way out and don't forget to let me know your favorite in the comments. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. You can check out more on screen now. And I do really appreciate all the support and all the ideas that you throw around in the comments. May the bricks be with you always.